Well, you know, the funny thing about Vegas is once one door closes, another one's ready to open up. Is the ace of Vegas, the ace of Vegas. And in the pre-opening excitement, it is TNG, Vegas Best Ideas. What's up, squad? Oh, I know, I'm not brave enough to wake up Cinnamon. Are you guys kidding? With only 188 rooms and 40,000 square feet of casino space, the Cromwell Las Vegas is the smallest casino resort on the Las Vegas Strip. Formerly known as the Barbary Coast and Bill's Gambling Hall, the resort was rebranded as a posh boutique hotel in 2014. It's presently the first and only adults-only property on the Las Vegas Strip. So I already know who y'all are, but my audience, there is, we got TNG. And we, are, and we, who you guys repping? Who you guys repping? There you go. Cool, cool. Uh, John, what about you, my man? I am uh, repping uh, Margaritaville. <laughs> now you got to say your channel name too, bro. There you go, Neon coming through. <laughs> Good to see you, man. All right, so we are all here for the grand opening of the Cromwell, uh, better known as the Barbary Coast, but you know, because it's only been Cromwell for what, six years now? 2014, I think, is when they changed the name. Yeah, because it was, uh, and, it was, and it was like the saloon gambling hall or something, it's somewhere in between there. Bill's Gambling, Bill's Gambling Hall. Hall, and then before that, Barbary Coast, and now it's back to being the Cromwell, thanks to good old Caesars. The announcement of the Cromwell's grand reopening came hot on the heels of Circa's grand opening. So, October 29th was a very busy day. Reporters, vloggers, and reality stars alike flocked to the opening, and the quiet, but elegant, celebration began. You can also get snacks at the Eat Well uh, Cafe over here. So it's also got a Starbucks. This is basically your Starbucks with a little bit more uh, flair to it now. And then as you go down this way, you also experience Dre's Beach Club here. So now this is the pool nightclub. And uh, the thing about the, it being a pool nightclub, so you get people that show up in the board shorts and bikinis and all that. I have no idea how the dress code works, but you're gonna be swimming. And it's also a nightclub. Those parties turn out to be pretty wild. I'll see if I can get like a, I don't know, a picture or something like that. Maybe like a, uh, a little clip. Unfortunately, Dre's is closed right now. It's usually open at night. But you also have the lounge here. There's a lounge here. And there's also one upstairs. I'll see if I can show that to you guys later. But... Aside from this, there isn't much to the hotel. That's actually kind of the interesting thing about it, is they've taken out so much, you just have kind of the line to Dre's, and normally this is how much space it would take up. It would take up everything to accommodate all of the guests here that are coming to Dre's nightclub, but the venue is closed presently, so it doesn't really matter much. Then you also see the table games. A lot of those are closed right now, but again, it's Thursday at 10 o'clock in the morning. So it's a little difficult to keep people rolling here. You also have two high limit areas. You have the high limit room on this end over here. We're gonna walk by the Abbey very shortly. That's another one of the high limit rooms, but this is the high limit table games. High limit table games are here. And then you can walk by the rewards desk, which uh, they affectionately call the bank on the way out of high limit. So you have your Caesars rewards desk over here, and then you have the bank. That's the cashier's cage for anyone that doesn't know. And if we're coming up over here, we have William Hill, William Hill Sportbook. Now this is one of the more comfortable sports books I've found. Great place to just sit down with your scotch, if you like scotch. And then, um, yeah, have yourselves a, uh, a beer or a scotch or a whiskey or whatever. Watch a little bit of college ball, watch a little bit of golf. I'm not gonna stay on this for too long because I don't have the express written consent of the NCAA to record. So we're gonna do that. And if you're interested in the curio shop over here, they do have limited shopping on property. I'll probably pop in there to see if I can get a fresh Cromwell mask. I'll have to ask around about that. And then if you are interested 
this is where you check in at. So this is the check-in counter to the Cromwell so you can enjoy one of their 188 rooms. 188 rooms, right ladies? All right, I want to make sure, fact check me, keep me honest. But this is one of the nicer spots. They do actually have their liquor on the shelves and more importantly, they have their books here too. So very classy, very sharp. I really love this spot over here. This is probably, I mean, every, everyone's kind of fancy and luxurious, but this is actually posh and it feels like it should be that posh. Oh, and once again, we got Turn It Up World coming through, man. Man, you're gonna be all over this episode. This is gonna be great. You guys are gonna be in every single shot over here. These guys over here are the real heroes doing all the hard work. I'm always here, right? right? <laughs> y'all doing? Y'all still doing the live stream? Yeah, there we go. And I love the shirts. You guys gotta stand next to each other. Actually, get the shirts in here. There is Turn It Up World. That's how we do it. One, two, three. Turn It Up World. Woo! That's how we do it with the lucky dog Awu in there too. Don't forget to subscribe to these guys. They are like the best in Vegas right there. They're right up there with Jacob and not leaving Las Vegas and all that. These guys are amazing. So yeah, travel a little bit too. I'd be like that. There is going to be a beer later on. Y'all hit me up. I ain't going. To... Yeah, I was going to say, we going to, we going to Shang's at noon. So we're going to be here for a little while. Go ahead and hit me up. All right, I'll be right here. All right, then we also have the lounge over here too. This is a lovely little lounge, just kind of doing the walkthrough. I don't think they're open quite yet, but you can play a little bit of video poker up this way, and it's a good chill spot for the night. So, yeah, it doesn't look like they're open yet. They don't have a bartender up here, so we probably won't have a drink up here. We'll probably have to go to the casino center bar. So let's head that direction and see about a few things. All right, all right, we got Metro's Finest over here. That guy looks busy. And then you have the Abbey over here, which is the high limit slot area. The other side is the high limit table game. This is the high limit slot area. Uh, pretty small, comparatively speaking. Again, 40,000 feet is about the extent of the uh, casino space here. So other than the casino space in Giardia, I, think it's Giar I don't think it's Giardia. That's a disease. I have to learn how to pronounce my uh, French cuisine there. But aside from that and food to go, just getting the to-go orders... There's really not much else in the casino, so this is probably the wisest place to have a child-free casino, and I'm glad it's all 21 and up now. So you have the hotel elevators to get up to your room over this way. And then ladies and gentlemen's rooms are on this side as well. And then it's Giada, Giada elevator access if you're trying to go to the state house. Uh, Giada is the one. I kept saying Giardia. That's like a stomach condition. All right. So we're heading back out this way. And this is the main casino bar. So if you want beers, if you want cocktails, anything like that, and you're not on the floor playing yet, this is the spot. Giada's over on this end. And the end, yeah, that's pretty much the whole hotel. We're going to go ahead and wind up over this way here. And I'm going to show you the main uh, strip entrance as well. This is probably going to be like one of the shortest hotel tours that we've ever done. And most of the uh, most of the interesting things are going to pop up, like how this used to be the Barbary Coast. That'll just be on the pop-up menu there. But uh, yeah, that's basically it, guys. That is just about it. And we're back here at the Cromwell. Here is the martini glass here at the Cromwell, and that's pretty official. And then you come back out here, here's the drives, and yeah, we are back out here. So that is the Cromwell, and we're back on the strip here. How's it going, boss? Good, how are you? Doing well, doing well. So what's your, what's your, you have an Instagram, I know you have an Instagram, yeah. All right. Well, it, do, it doesn't matter because you're amazing. What's your Instagram? Adrian Elizabeth. All right, great to meet you, Ace of Vegas. Hope you're doing well. All right, how's your uh, how's your grand opening working over here? It feels a whole lot better, doesn't it? Absolutely. Right on, right on. Good deal. So you got you guys. So you guys are hyped. Everybody's hyped over here. We got Gord over here. He's hyped. He's triple fisting right now. He's got my beer. That's how it should be. It is the perfect time for it, honestly. So, no, it is, it is good to be back in Vegas right now, and it's, but I'm, I'm glad you guys were able to jump on there. So you said Adrian Elizabeth, right? All right, don't forget to follow her on Instagram. She's amazing. Uh, this is the Ace of Vegas seal of approval here. And then i got to ask your partner, too. Yes, go ahead. Insist real quick. Oh, yeah, I, I can 
Oh. Oh, you're good, you're good. What's your What's your Instagram again? All right, at Shaylin A. Mad shout out. All right, so Adrian Elizabeth and Shaylin A. Don't forget to go check them out on Instagram. Mad shout outs right there. Get that big uh, fist bump right there. Thanks again for being very welcoming, you guys. I appreciate you guys. And coming through. Don't worry, Ace. The beer is safe. All right. Get, get back here, Gord. All right, so mad shout outs to you guys. I'll see you guys on the, uh, on the live streams next time. All right, there's Spinners and Sharks. That's it for today's video. If you enjoyed today's content and found it informative, I'd appreciate a like and consider subscribing if you haven't already. Next time, I think we're going to get back to the bare basics and show you how we get some great perks in Vegas without spending a dime. But until next time, this is Ace of Vegas, and I'm signing out, wishing you strong hands, and of course, happy spinning, you guys. Viva, 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 Viva,